So whenever I thought I'd open my mouth, that would begin the poem. But uh, the way to get into the poem is that I didn't, I didn't bring this final, this is the, uh, a letter of the alphabet that I have designed. And it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's an improvisational circle, and it's actually supposed to be dark all the way. But it isn't quite dark all the way because I forgot to make it before I got here. But if you, well, I mean, you know, it has its, it has its place in history because if you, if you look at the beginning, the you know, first edition of Tristan Shandy, then when you get to the, the, the remaining, the black page that's there, it isn't really black at all. So this is actually, you know, this this could very well be that page or a little corner, a zero of the page or an O of that page. But this is the 27th letter of the alphabet. So uh, we've already begun the poem and that's, that's really quite pleasant. And then, you know, one thing I just, you know, just perhaps Sitting there, and I've sat in, in poetry readings now for uh, I don't know 45 years or something like that. And uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, on occasion, you know, I kind of look out the window and you know, like what's going on, and you know, you know, you know remember this and that and like that. So in, in uh, you know, for something for you to do then, you know, and I thought it was particularly odd that. You know, people should only clap like after the poem is over. Uh, and so I would ask you that any time you particularly wish through the next bunch of minutes like that, if you felt like clapping, just go ahead. Like if you if you put that exactly like that. So any time over the next 14 and minutes and 13, 30, 30, 30 well, 27 seconds right now, if you feel like applauding, you should just applaud any time you particularly wish to do that. No, I begin. I, I can't really not. And and, and uh, Jen, it doesn't point. It, 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 the, the, uh, the piece itself is called a plot event, and my my I'm I'm a, a, a groom these days, and you know I have a, a, a new wife, uh, and uh, her name is. Um, her name is Ginny O'Brien, and that, and you know that's not this particular letter of the alphabet, but it is a different one. But it is circular like that. So, and then you know, as being a good new groom and husband, I have to point out that she did do the cover of this book, <laughs> and it wraps around. As you see like that, and she's in the business of making covers for books, and all of you need covers for your books. So afterwards, you know, while I am selling books, of course, as troubadours do, we are also, uh, Jin, Jin has also said that she would very much be very pleased to make covers for all of your particular books, if you so wish. <laughs> to begin, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to also, what I can't really, perf I can't really read unless uh, I summon some uh, energies uh, in, into the room. So I'd like to begin. There said, uh, as I was getting here, I said there must be some ghosts here about. It's a really big city. So they're probably all in the alleys and various places like that. So I had to summon some ghosts and I, you know, you know, throughout the course there. While you're not clapping, while you're not applauding particularly like this, you might want to summon some ghosts and I would be very happy if you saw perhaps a ghost someplace. Uh, here and there, then if you would summon some ghosts to the begin, I'm going to at least do part of a poem called Ghosts. I like the word boo, too, because there'd be very few variable words in the English language like that. Boo, you can stretch it out with all of those particular O's, and we need more and more variable words. So, boo, 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 boo. I have to read this, right? Boo. Noxzema trailer. The book is called Trailers. It's actually Jin's trailer. So to begin with the archaic, and then all of a sudden, in the midst of the poem, what we find is, is then that this particular symbol again, which means at that particular point in the poem, I can do whatever I particularly want. So I should explain to you what trailers are. Well, you know what trailers are, actually. Trailers are those uh, like kind of ads for movies that are upcoming. And what they do is they show you the high points of a particular movie and entice you, perhaps, to go see this particular movie. So I thought, should 
give them lyrics, then we have trailers for poems where the high points of the poems are what you hear, and it might then bring you into, you know, it might, it might, it might make you, it might make you interested to come into the poem. So these are, uh, this entire book is a book of trailers. Uh, which are the high points of everything I've, I've ever written. So it goes, goes be ginning in archaic, and then there's that improvisational thing. I don't know what we're going to say here. And then there's a parenthesis, and in the parenthesis it says jip, and there's a question mark. I don't know what I don't know what to say in that particular uh, uh, improvisational letter, but I might say the word Arctic. But I don't know what Arctic it could be. This Arctic or that Arctic, or it could be another Arctic. And this part is Frankenstein's Arctic, perhaps, or Frankenstein's improvisation. It has something to do with the past. I'm not sure what it is. And then it says, summon the gin. Well, I've already summoned the gin, so we've got past that particular place. So I received the summons the other day. Now I'm supposed to, I'm, su I'm supposed to, at this particular, at this particular moment, I'm supposed to, play, I'm supposed to explain to you the improvisational symbol of the alphabet, but I've already explained to that. And then there's a good deal, as you can see, there's a good deal of vegetation here in the midst of the poem. And then, and some more vegetation. And it says in ticket, in ticket, in ticket. Is that Charles also? No, that's in thicket. Or is it John John Lennon? Is it ticket to ride? And I think last time I was at the British Museum, there was a manuscript of ticket to ride. So well, that fits into the poem too. An ouch performance. Ouch. A tear, perform. I don't know if there's something I can. If you want to tear something up, it's perfectly proper at this particular particular uh, time to do that. A moon, a eh, lost, lost, lost. What? Well, you know, this is you know, as you know, if you want to get the dog music thing that that uh, James has uh, you know most generously uh, provided, uh, you might. I'm not moving through here. I'm actually coming to talk to you. Have you lost anything recently? Yes. What was that? Uh, I lost my keys today. You lost your keys. It's no doubt. I, you know, that when we were at Oxford just a couple days ago, there was this squirrel, and this squirrel we swore was an enchanted pixie, and I suspect that this pixie has stolen those keys. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found anything lately? <laughs> uh, but apart from what I've just found, uh, no, nothing. Not no, Ezra nothing. found. No. No. no, no. <laughs> All right, nothing, nothing. Have you found anything lately, sir? If we've lost something, if we found something, if you found something, we can put it in the poem, and that's particular. That, and that is okay. Yeah, new new way of life. A new way of life. We found a new way of life. That's very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, if only I could find a new way of life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recitation repetition is desired and desirable. Sing skip to my loo, skip to the loo, skip to the loo, skip to the loo, my darling. Or is that Louis Armstrong or is it Lou Welsh? Well, Louis Armstrong would sing, but not Lou Welsh. And whatever happened to his body, anyways? Okay. Supposedly he went up into went, went up into the mountains someplace with a shotgun. We are told and his body's never been found. What could possibly? Have, why have they never found Lou Welsh's body? Is this because he went to Mexico or something? I don't know. But he wrote this poem called. Turkey Turkey buzzard, as you well know, those of you who are familiar with with, uh, with Lou Welsh, and they know we are also familiar with turkey buzzards because earlier this year we watched a whole bunch of turkey buzzards, and actually close to the house we think probably by the Rheinstein Game Preserve that on occasion there are some turkey some turkey buzzards, and that that also fits into Lou Louis oh Louis Za Saint Louis Kofsky oh I will be chastised for that in irreverence, but here it goes. What can I say? Oh no, we gotta go. I I I. You, one of three. Bob Brown? Bob Brown didn't appear in this poem. I don't know why he's not in this poem. Do you know Bob Brown's poem? He's in like a, an early modernist drew, you know, a bunch of squiggles in the Jargon Society. We published his book. Well, he's in the poem today, too, although none of his squiggles are. And I've actually I've recently found a Bob Brown manuscript that has not been published. So see me afterwards, and we'll talk about it if you so wish. If you have a press, we'll uh, organize it. And one of the dilemmas with Bob Brown is that I you know his, he gave his papers to his son. Some of the papers ended up at the University of Illinois in normal, but most most of them were lost, and that's really sad. He also wrote this wonderful book called Beer. So if you know his book Beer, good for you. 
Uh, it did, that doesn't appear in this poem. Penn and I popped by Tuesday, Tuesday. On Tuesday of this week, I didn't pick up the dry cleaning because I was here. Uh, I was going to go to a liquor store for Pinot Noir. I tried to order Pinot Noir downstairs like that, but they don't sell it by the glass. I thought we probably shouldn't have a bottle. Uh, garden beseech to chin bitu. Genulia siu dribi. Buldian muk o arr to finri. Angruru. Rarbul, Aziz, Laziz, Mood, Moutini, Miko, Bueb, Mulki, Moka, Auil, Rab, Rub, Arb, Sapi, Ui, Moi, Af, symbol for a slice of pie. <laughs> symbol for a slice of pie. I should say something about Savona. Savona is a small town in Steubane County in New York State where when Jin and I were driving along one day, we so said, we better pull over over here and have a snack. So we pulled over and had a snack. And I swear that Savona, New York is a sort of Delphi. I believe, for, for at least for the United States. And, and it's one of those places where the poem is actually part of everyday life, I think. This is like where the wall between the poem, like the wall between the audience and the poem doesn't exist and you can move in between, between that which is the poem and the performer and the poetry is there, as well as those people that go to mom's delicatessen. Not mom's delicatessen at all, that's actually mom's, what was it? Restaurant. Family restaurant, that's what it was. Well, everything can come into the poem. So we have the pie, and that's Savona, New York. Come, Savona, queen of pies, our lady of pies, bosom of oak trees, and for forest of acorn. Oh, Savona, pie goddesses, ladies in waitressing, waiting wife and waist high of a broom room, fume, sugars and queens of fruit. Mom's Savona Diner. Oh, Mom's, the plate is round. Oh, oh, Asis, Sis, 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 Tampalon, the Elephantine, Satis, Satchit, Satis, Satet, Seti, where the deification of the floods of the Nile, Queens, is. And then there's some symbols in the poems that I have to translate them for you. There seems to be, well, I think, I think what this is telling us is now that the poem, at least for the next few lines, is kind of moving into, is into the night and it's going into the, it's actually going up into the night sky. And there is no equality in this particular poem at all with anything else in the pie maidens. And I think this symbol right here, it's kind of like it had some lines going this way and that, and a symbol over there that's clearly, so that, that's clearly a pie goddess symbol over there. Ah, oh, and then in these, well, it may be raining in the night. No, it's kind of nice out, I think. And then of moth is Isis I feckin' eggs grill. And of pixie pollen, of brown bassoon bacon, rubber ribbons, and hair of crisp, nipples of saffron yellow, breakfast in hair of spatula, fingers, fingers, yellow pencil behind the pot. I was wondering about my fingers today. What if my fingers cracked off? What would they be like? What would my hand be like? And then I was over at the British Museum, and that one room, 
what used to be called the Elgin Marbles, and now it's, it's stuff from the Pantheon, Pantheon, you know, some one of those Greek buildings and all that. You know, it's, it's like, well, that's where this, these are just the stones from, from that, and you know, there they are. And I noticed that one of the soldiers, one of the feet of one of the soldiers, there was one toe left. Nothing had not been cracked off. There was no nail polish on that one particular, one, one particular toe. But all the rest of the nine toes were cut off. And I was like, well, if all my fingers were cut off, then I would have one finger. And I guess it would be on the pencil in this particular poem. The ear of May of May pencils behind listen of May. The throats, bladder of May frogs, May producer of sound, May by air over vocal cords, I ace our hearing celestial sphere, thigh dance, wish, desert, desert song, sangha of Savona, moon divides, the wild night away from day dishes, Fay Ray, Bonnie Parker, Allison Knowles, Ishtar prefer, perform, blueberry, apple cinnamon, berry, lemon, cherry, mints. Blueberry, apple, cherry, berry, set lemon, cherry, mint. Air enters the nostrils, want it warmed with a scoop, not soup. Ha, spare the Yotan, Yotar frost giants. Some are depicted as huge as is ice cream heads, Valhalla, vanilla, blueberry, apple, cinnamon, berry, lemon, cherry, mint. No dose trucker, Psy Moon, the Pi Moon, masturbate in parking lot, lungs full of spoons and forks, omnificent odor of her udders, of perfume of dairy cow, black and white gaga, of pie slices, the slices of the moon, snip! Do you deliver? Savona, Area 31, UFO pie, flavor egg sex internal in the realm of the future, poetesses, reed intestines of pie and poe, snipping threads of a slice music, the vocal produces visible plate, a plate is round as round, um, phallos. And then there's some symbols again, or various kinds of shape of pie. How does one cut the pie this way, that pie? And is it the pie? Is it the pie of night or the pie of day? Ah, uh, Jen and I tried to get a pie. We tried to get a pie in Oxford, and they did not have any pie at the Child and Eagle. The Eagle. The Eagle. And the child. Eagle and Child. If Tolkien wanted a pie, it would not have been there. It's no wonder he stuck to the narrative. Good round, but all of Button's belly, the pie feet devoured Cleveland, blueberry, apple cinnamon, berry, limoon, cherry, mince, mince away by broom to sweep away, eat any and all, all hazard danger. I can be in the pie, pea pie, Popeye, porpoise pie, to take away the sins of the world by keeping torn Tomatoes, not tomatoes, await resting in the black spruce strawberry rhubarb of rural New York of Paleo Highway Mastodon Night. Pie, queen of pie, lead me to desire, bring to me dessert, save Ginny and I safe from tornadoes on I-86 south of Savona.